touching the body by the wild wood. No lovelier place in the dale. No spot is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the dale. How sweet on a clear Sabbath morning to listen to the clear ringing bell. It stones so sweetly are calling. Oh, come, come to, to the, the church, church in the dell. Oh, come, 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 come to come the, the church in the wild. Oh, come, come to come, the church come, in the dell. Church in the valley. Christmas in Anambra is a carnival of color and fireworks that starts with glorious blast into the night skies of Opaiweka. The thunderous blast ripping through the dark skies of a place that once rated as the darkest spot in eastern Nigeria, announce a season of love and family reunion that Christmas has become in Ibo land. But they also speak in eloquent tones of the triumph of good over evil and light over darkness in Anambra state under the tender care of Governor Willie Obiano. We are here at Opiweka, the flagship of this administration. This was a place we conquered Ambrobas and continued to conquer them for five solid years going. And uh, we have won them. No theaters on even Emeva. By God's grace, we must have a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year that will bring individual gifts and a great honor to our state. God has blessed us so far. We are doing well. I must tell you, we are still the light of the nation. The fireworks blend magnificently together with joyous Christmas carols to confirm to Indianambra that Opai Waker has since moved from being paradise lost to paradise regained. The journey into a peaceful Anambra and its several seasons of colorful Christmas began five years ago when Governor Obiano drew a line in the sand for a face-off between the state and the criminals that had ranged laughter off the faces of the people. He swiftly launched Operation Uchapu with hundreds of state-of-the-art security trucks that are command and control centers on their own. He set up security tents manned by battle-ready police officers in locations that used to be flashpoints of crime across the state. He rolled out gunboats to patrol the creeks and waterways of Anambra. He launched a surveillance helicopter into the blue clouds over Anambra to detect the first hints of trouble from the skies. And finally, he rolled out 25 American-style patrol cars to protect neighborhoods and communities and ensure that Ndianambra sleep with both eyes closed. Interestingly, in so doing, Governor Obiano successfully flung open the door of possibilities for Ndianambra. Anambra has become Nigeria's safest state. The social circuit has come alive in the past five years as different towns and communities mark different festivals in an atmosphere of peace and love. The tourism sector has since revved to life with the recent soft opening of Golden Tulip Aguli Lake Hotels in Agul.
the remodeling of the gangway that leads into Obuku Caves and Waterfalls in Oberezukala lends depth to Governor Obiano's effort to turn Anambra into a tourist destination. Hotels, open spaces and leisure sports sprout across the state as a new culture of happiness envelops Anambra State. Indeed, Anambra's widening circle of happiness goes beyond providing a safe and secure state in which the people's diverse talents and gifts have found admirable expression. It also includes Governor Obiano's determined efforts to place workers' welfare over and above all considerations. That is why Anambra State never owed workers any salaries, even in the throes of the recent economic recession. Pensions and gratuities have never waited a day longer to be paid, while Anambra workers have continued to enjoy their promotions and leave allowances in Obiano's five years in power. To crown it all, every Christmas, Anambra workers smile away with bags of rice as a gesture of love from their beloved state. This uncommon governor, it's not just Christmas, throughout the year, you have a balance in expectation of the citizens. You have, you have everybody knowing what is going to get at any particular time and he doesn't fail in it. So salaries have been steady from January to November. And then he came in with a clincher that he was going to pay November salaries, pay the balances in November, and then pay the December salary before the 20th of December. That's quite a lot of money in the hands of public servants. Plus the bags of rice, the traditional bags of rice that it shares the public servants in the state. So my dear, the places are washed with both money to buy things. And our traditional step for Christmas, which is rice. And you know this thing has a spiral effect. It's not just the people, the public servants that are eating it. They share with their kinsmen, they share with their brothers, they share with their relations. So everywhere in the States. Indeed, Christmas is a very special season in Anambra and you only need to visit Opiwaka, Kwata Flyover, Aroma Flyover and other major intersections across the state to know that it is Christmas. The dazzle of Christmas lights, the infectious sound of James, pit points, jingle bells and the mirthful laughter of everyday people present a fascinating mosaic of a happier Anambra at Christmas. You could see the cloud of happiness when Ikweme Square exploded in shimmering colors as gifted singers and musicians with Anambra roots brought forth a night of magic to welcome the Yuletide season in the state, an initiative of the Minister of Tourism, Diaspora Affairs and Indigenous Artworks. The musical night offered Anambra youths a dazzling rainbow of fun in the Christmas season. Indeed, it was an enchanting night when music lovers had a rare opportunity to meet their favorite singers, artists, and comedians in a concert that left lingering memories of Christmas. Children, women, and the physically challenged community were not left out of the spreading circle of love as the wife of the governor of Anambra State, Dr. Mrs. Isabella Chukwobiano, organized a memorable Christmas party for them at the government's lodge in Amobia.
The happiness and joy she brought upon these members of the society was palpable. There was plenty of dancing and merrymaking. Honestly, at times I don't even know how to start thanking God for His Excellency, Dr. Willie Mother Brochuku, and also Her Excellency, Chief Mrs. Bele Obia. No, the way God is using them mightily in this state. You can do it for yourself. This is Children's Party. And with uh, Commissioner for Women Affairs, she has been able to put everything together beautifully. Children are happy, mothers are happy. Everything is going on well. Can we ever thank God enough? His goodness is just too much for this thing. I am only praying that the good Lord will keep on blessing this number one family in Anambra State so that they will keep on doing the good things that they are doing because they are doing well. God will bless them. <laughs> Out there on the streets, the dazzling light welcomed revelers to endless nights of enchantment across Anambra State. As the Light Up Anambra campaign offers opportunities for a long drive on well-lit network of roads. The Light Up Anambra campaign has brought light into some of the hitherto dark areas in the state and has helped in no small measure in making crime an unprofitable venture across Anambra State. People are happy, happy coming back home, seeing Anambra looking like uh, London. The light is honestly, there's nothing as good as that because it has lightened the state and everybody is happy. In fact, nobody will believe this is Oka, you know, because we'll be here, it has never been this good. Everywhere, the street light, the Christmas light, oh my God, it, it's second to none. Every street and alleyways twinkle with blinding streetlights to reassure the citizens that they have a leader that cares about their happiness. In response, therefore, Ndianambra have embraced the fast evolving nightlife and the sprouting of 24-hour shops and supermarkets and leisure sports across the state. In Oka, the state's capital, the night no longer hides with a knife. Instead, it holds out a box of candles to revelers who wish to hang out in some of Orca's most captivating nightclubs, lounges, drinking gardens and bars with adequate police protection and coverage. And though many night crawlers may not know it, most night sports in Orca are perfectly covered by plain-clothed policemen and women 
who also form a part of the evolving tapestry of joy and merriment, but are ready to protect the citizens when the occasion calls. I want to warn all criminals in Anambra or try to come into Anambra to disappear. Or they will disappear by force. We have over 100 men clothes policemen who will dress like a typical of Adam fellow. But they are armed and they are going to pick up this crimes. I want to warn every criminal, any criminal that shoots at our law enforcement agents, they have the right to shoot you back and pull you down immediately. Indeed, this Christmas will certainly go down as one of the most memorable celebrations in recent memory as Indianambra from the diaspora continue to return to their beloved state to reunite with their families, friends and loved ones under a peaceful and free atmosphere in Nigeria's safest state. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Church in the wild, oh, come to the church.